Hello and welcome back to Easy English with James. Today we're going to learn all about the letter H. We are also going to practice the letter H with 18 different English vowel sounds. So if you want to make sure you know how to pronounce this letter correctly, or you want to practice the pronunciation of 18 different English vowel sounds, stick with me for this very, very important lesson, okay? Okay, the letter H. It's a super interesting letter in English. It's a consonant letter. It's the eighth letter in the English alphabet. About 85% of English speakers will see this letter and say, this is the letter H. 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 But, wait a minute, you'll notice that when they say H, it doesn't even have the H sound in it. That's because many people actually continually pronounce this letter with a silent H, okay? The letter H is pronounced with a silent H. Crazy English language, but there is another thing you should know. About 85% of native English speakers pronounce this letter H, but about 12 to 15 percent pronounce this H, H, H. It's very common in parts of the UK where I live. Many of my friends and family will pronounce this H and also parts of Australia and New Zealand where they will also often pronounce this H, H. Okay, so you can decide. In my opinion, both of these are correct. H with a silent H or H with that H, H, H sound. Okay, you decide. You'll also find this in the difference between British and American pronunciation of certain words. For example, words like herb and herbal. I'm from the UK. So you can hear me pronounce the letter H at the beginning of these words, herb and herbal, okay? With a strong H, H at the beginning, herb, herbal. But many of my friends who are from the USA, they won't pronounce the letter H at the beginning of these words. They will say herb and herbal, okay? So be careful with this letter because it is very often silent at the beginning of words, and sometimes it can even be different depending on which English accent you're listening to, okay? But remember for now that in the alphabet, this letter is normally pronounced H, H, H. But in parts of the UK, sometimes in Australia and New Zealand, you will also hear H and H, okay? Okay, so you heard the H sound at the beginning of H and herbal, okay? But how do we make that H sound? H. You probably know that this sound comes all the way from your diaphragm, your diaphragm and stomach area. Your diaphragm is the thing that helps you to breathe in and breathe out, okay? This sound, H, comes all the way up from your diaphragm and out. Ha, huh, ha, huh. and it's made with your mouth quite wide open. Ha, 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 okay? Really, really common letter in English as well. In common words like he and him and her that you'll use every day. He, him, and her. Practice this sound with me. Ha, 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 okay? One way that you can actually make it really easy is to lift your shoulders up when you say the sound. That helps you to bring that air up from your stomach. Ha, okay? Ha, 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 ha. He, him, and her. Now, in English, this letter, this letter sound, ha, can actually come before nearly any of the English vowel sounds. 
and there are a lot of vowel sounds in English. If you want to learn all about the vowel sounds, look in the description below and you'll see my English vowel videos, the short vowel sounds, long vowel sounds, and the diphthong vowel sounds in English. But today, we're going to practice 18 of those vowel sounds all together with the letter H, okay? It normally comes with a vowel in English. Think like him, he, her, hope, have, all different vowel sounds. So today, we're going to go through 18 of those vowel sounds, okay? Let's begin. Okay, let's start with number one, the H and the E sound in words like he and heat and heat. Practice with me. He, heat. Heap, okay? The H plus the E sound. He, heat, and heap. Next up, number two, is the H plus the I sound. That short vowel sound. I, I. Think of words like hit, hit, and him, him. And also hinder, hinder, hinder. Okay, practice with me. Hit hit and him, him, and also hinder, hinder, okay? Okay, number three is the H plus the uh sound, uh, in words like hum, hum, or hurry, hurry, or even hungry, I'm hungry, okay? Hum, hurry, and hungry, hum, hurry, and hungry hungry. Number four is the H plus the uh sound, that long vowel sound, uh, okay, in words like her, her, or hurt, like that hurt me, you're hurting me, hurt. So her, hurt, and hearse, 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 okay, practice with me. Her, hurt, and hearse. Number five, the H plus the E eh sound. E, eh, E, eh, E, eh, another short vowel sound in words like hen or hello or even heaven. Okay, hen, hello, and heaven. Practice with me hen, hello, and heaven. Make sure your mouth is wide open to get that h, huh. heaven, hello, and hen. Okay? Number six is the H plus the O oh sound. O, oh, O, oh, O. Oh. That's that short vowel sound again. O. Oh. Think of words like hot, hot, as in it's very hot today, or hop, hop, or even hog, hog, which is another word for a pig. Okay? Hot, hop, and hog. Hot, hop, and hog. Number seven is the H plus the O sound. O. This is a diphthong sound. If you want to learn about the diphthongs, check the description below for my video on diphthongs. The H plus the O sound in words like home, home, or hope, hope, or hose, hose. Okay, practice with me. Home, home. Your mouth has to move a lot to make this diphthong sound after the letter H. Home, home, and hope, hope, and hose, hose, okay? Number eight is the H plus the ow, ow sound. This is another diphthong, okay? Try words like house, 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 okay? And of course, the question word, how, 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 and hound, hound, which is another word for a type of dog or a dog, okay? House, house, how, how, and hound, hound. Watch my mouth closely because this is the ow diphthong sound, ow. House, how, and hound. Hound. Practice with me one more time. House, house, 
how, how, and hound, hound. Number nine is the H plus the O uh sound, O, uh, in words like hook or hooky or hooking, okay? I couldn't find many words with this combination, but hook with that O, uh, O. Uh. Remember the word look with an L, look, it's the same, uk, uk, hook, hooky, and hooking, okay? A hook, Captain Hook from Peter Pan, okay? Hook, hooky, and hooking is the H plus that O uh sound, okay? Number 10 is the H plus the O sound, O, O, okay? In words like hold, hold, or holding or holder, okay, old, old, hold, holding, and holder, okay, old, it's a really down sound, it goes into the bottom of your mouth here, old, you'll feel it here, old, okay, hold, holding, and holder, holder, okay, number 11 is an easy one, it's the H, plus a, a, in words like hat, or has, or ham, okay? Hat, as in on your head, a hat, has, she has, he has, and ham, ham, which is a type of meat, okay? Hat, has, and ham, okay? Number 12 is h plus ear, another diphthong sound, h plus ear, in the words here, and here, and hero, hero, okay, like a superhero, okay, here, here, and hero, okay, practice with me, here, ear, diphthong sound, ear, here, here, and hero, hero, okay. Number 13 is the H plus R sound. This is that long R sound, long vowel sound. H plus R in words like heart, heart, or hard, hard, or even harm, harm, okay? Practice with me. Heart, heart, hard, hard, and harm, harm, okay? Number 14 is H plus A, H plus A, in common words like hey and hate, hate, but also words like hasten, hasten, okay? Hey, hate, and hasten, okay? Practice with me, hey, hate, and hasten, okay? Number 15 is H plus I, in words like high or high or height high as in hello hi also how high and my height okay high high and height high and high both sound exactly the same because that gh at the end is silent so high and high and height okay number 16 is h plus or, or, another long vowel sound, or, in words like horse, horse, the animal, or horn, horn, like a car horn, beep, beep, okay, horn, or even longer words like horticulture, horticulture, one of my favourite words in English, horticulture, okay, so, horse, horse, horn, horn, and horticulture, horticulture, okay? Number 17 is the letter H with the oo sound in words like hoop, 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 but also question words where the W is silent, like who and whose, okay? Who and whose, both question words, the W is silent, so we just pronounce that letter H with the oo sound. Practice with me. Hoop, hoop, and who, who, and whose, whose, okay? Number 18 is the H plus the oi sound. 
This one is a little bit less common, but you will hear it sometimes in words like hoy, hoy, or hoist, hoist. It means to sort of pull something or lift something up, to hoist something. And also a very rare word, hoiden, hoiden, okay? Hoy, hoist, and hoiden. Hoy, hoist, and hoiden. Okay, that is the letter H with 18 of the English vowel sounds. If you go back and you practice that as many times as you can, I promise your English pronunciation will improve a lot, okay? You'll master the letter H and you'll also master some of those vowel sounds that can be quite tricky, okay? So go back and watch that again and again and again as many times as you need to, okay? Okay, now we're going to practice some tongue twisters in English. And the best thing about tongue twisters with the letter H is that you know you are saying them correctly because if you are saying these sentences correctly, these tongue twisters correctly, you should be out of breath, out of breath. Because remember, the letter H often has that H, H, sound where you're breathing air out. So with some of these tongue twisters, you should be out of breath, <sighs> okay, after you say them. So let's begin. Okay, number one, Happy Harry the huge hippo had horrible handwriting. Happy Harry the huge hippo had horrible handwriting, okay? I know hippos can't have handwriting, but it's a really good sentence to practice that huh sound. Happy Harry, the huge hippo, had horrible handwriting, okay? Happy Harry, the huge hippo, had horrible handwriting. See if you can practice it until you can say it that fast, okay? Happy Harry, the huge hippo, had horrible handwriting. Your turn. Okay, Happy Harry, the huge hippo, had horrible handwriting. Number two, Harry Hunt hunts heavy, hairy hares. Hares are like rabbits. Harry Hunt is his name. Harry Hunt hunts heavy, hairy hares. Okay, try with me. Harry Hunt hunts heavy, hairy hares. Harry Hunt hunts heavy, hairy hares. <gasps> Your turn. Okay, Harry Hunt hunts heavy hairy hares. Well done. Number three, Hamza the hungry hamster had hundreds of hot hamburgers. Hamza the hungry hamster had hundreds of hot hamburgers. Okay, try with me. Hamza the hungry hamster had hundreds of hot hamburgers. See if you can say that really fast and you'll hear that ha 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 sound. Okay. Number four is this one. Hurry home, Hannah, Harry's here. Hurry home, Hannah, Harry's here. Okay, like come home quickly, Hannah, your friend Harry is here. Hurry home, Hannah, Harry's here. Hurry home, Hannah, Harry's here. Hurry home, Hannah, Harry's here. Practice with me. Hurry home, Hannah, Harry's here. Your turn. Okay, hurry home, Hannah, Harry's here. Hurry home, Hannah, Harry's here. Well done. Okay, those are four really good tongue twisters with the letter H. So make sure that you practice them many, many, many times until you can feel your pronunciation improving, okay? Now, if you are enjoying this video, if you like this video and you're learning something from this video, please make sure to hit that like button, leave a nice comment or Share this video with your friends, but most of all, make sure you've hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos, okay? Lots and lots of videos still to come, so make sure you've hit that subscribe button, okay? Now, we're going to look at the silent H in English, okay? Silent H is really awesome. Lots of different rules around this one. So stick with me. Let's learn about the silent H. Okay, the letter H is one of the most common silent letters in English. It is very, very, very often silent, okay? That means we don't pronounce it at all. It's one of the most common silent letters, okay? It's really often silent in question words. Question words like where or when or what or why or which, okay? Listen carefully, where, 
There's no H sound in that. Where or when or what or why or which. Okay, where, when, what, why and which. All of them have that W followed by the letter H and each time the letter H is silent. Okay, practice with me. Where, when, what, why and which. Where, when, what, why and which. Where, when, what, why and which. Okay, there are some exceptions though because in the question words who, who and whose, who and whose, you can hear that h. This time the W is silent and we pronounce the H. I know English can be a little bit confusing, but in most question words where you see W and H, you'll notice that the H is silent. Where, when, what, why and which. But not in who, who and whose. You'll also see this in words like weather and whale and wheat all have W and H together, weather, whale, and wheat. But in each time, the H is silent, okay? Weather, whale, and wheat. But another exception to this would be whole, 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 okay? Okay, the letter H is really commonly silent at the beginning of some words, like our, our, really common word. Also in the word honest, honest and honor, honor. In those three words, you can see that the letter H is not pronounced. It is silent and they're quite common words. Honest, honestly, okay? And hour, one hour, two hours, three hours, okay? Hour, honest and honor. Okay, but that's not always the case because in words like hotel and history and happy, we do pronounce that h huh at the beginning, okay? And there aren't any real rules for this. So my advice is when you see a word, always check which one is it. Does this word start with a silent h, like in hour? Or does this word start with a h, huh, like in hotel, okay? Hotel. English doesn't really have any rules for this that are learnable, okay? So the only way to know is by checking in a dictionary or listening to a native speaker. And each time you see a new word, make sure that you check first, okay? Now, number four, the letter H is nearly always silent when it comes after the letter G, okay? In words like ghost or ghoul or ghastly, okay? Ghost, ghoul and ghastly, the letter H is nearly always silent when it comes after the letter G at the beginning of a word, okay? Ghost, ghoul, and ghastly, okay? Okay, sometimes when you see the letters G and H, they are also both silent, okay? Sometimes in words like night, or right, or eight, or wait, both the G and the H are silent, okay? Practice with me, night, and right, and eight, and wait, okay? Also, when you see G and H at the end of a word, this time it can either be completely silent, as in sigh, or high, or nigh, or way, or it can be a f sound. I know, completely crazy, but sometimes in English, GH at the end of a word can be a f sound, the f. Like in cough, cough, or rough, rough or tough, tough, okay? So, G-H at the end of a word, remember, it can either be completely silent, as in high and nigh, or it can be a f, as in rough and cough and tough. Some really good words that you should remember here are words like through, through, and though, very common word in English, and also although. Although. Although it's raining, I'm still going to go out. Although it's raining, I'm still going to go out. I don't like that though, okay? I don't like that though with that silent G and H at the end of those words, okay? Through and though and although. Through, though and although. Okay, the letter H is also sometimes silent when it follows the letter C in English in words like school, school and scheme, scheme, and at the end of a word like 
stomach, okay? School, school, scheme, and stomach. Normally when it follows that hard k, k sound. School, scheme, and stomach, stomach, okay? But remember, when it's at the beginning of a word, like chat, or choose, or chase, then it's not silent, it's pronounced, we will learn in a minute, as a ch, ch, ch sound, okay? If you want to practice that sound, wait, because it's coming up very soon, okay? But, again, remember, after the letter C, sometimes the letter H is silent in words like school, scheme, and stomach, okay? Finally, the letter H at the very end of words is always silent, okay? In words like cheetah, cheetah, or the name Sarah, Sarah, or even the ruler of ancient Egypt, the pharaoh, pharaoh, okay? Cheetah, Sarah, and pharaoh. The letter H at the end of a word is always silent, okay? So remember, at the end, if you see the letter H, we never pronounce it, okay? Okay, let's try some practice sentences to help you remember some of these rules. Try this one. At night, when Sarah's school choir went through the chords. At night, when Sarah's school choir went through the chords. Okay? At night, when Sarah's school choir went through the chords. At night, when Sarah's school choir went through the chords. Your turn. Okay, well done. Number two, honestly, what an honour to meet the heir of a pharaoh at this hour. Honestly, what an honour to meet the heir of a pharaoh at this hour. Honestly, what an honour to meet the heir of a pharaoh at this hour. Okay, practice with me. Honestly, what an honour to meet the heir of a pharaoh at this hour. Okay, <laughs> practice those tongue twisters until you've really got a good feel for when the letter H is silent in English. Okay. Okay, be careful with the silent H though, because it can be really tricky. Look at these two sentences. Number one, don't take hours. Number two, don't take hours. If you hear them, you probably think they are exactly the same. Don't take hours, don't take hours. But because number two has that silent H letter, the meaning is completely different. Number one, don't take ours means don't take our things, don't take our stuff. Number two, don't take ours means don't take a long time, don't take many hours, okay? So be careful because sometimes that letter H can be playing tricks on you and you have to double check maybe there's a silent H in there somewhere, okay? Don't take hours and don't take hours. <laughs> Okay, finally, what we're going to learn about is the letter H in English often comes together with other letters to make new sounds, different sounds. For example, take a look at CH. CH in English is not pronounced with a K or a H, it's pronounced with a whole different sound, the CH, CH, CH sound. Practice with me, CH, CH. Ch, okay? Think of words like chat, chat, or chase, chase, or choose, this one or this one, choose, chat, chase, and choose. Also, at the end of words like much, such, and which, much, such, and which, okay? Practice this sentence, such champions choose to chat. Such champions choose to chat, okay? Such champions choose to chat. That'll help you get that ch, ch sound. Remember, the ch sound is voiceless, and again, it comes from down in your diaphragm. Ch, 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 okay? Chat, choose, champion, such, and which. Okay, we also have the S and H together, found in words like she, and shoot, and share. Be careful with this one because the S and H sound, shh, sometimes people confuse that with the CH, ch, ch. But listen to the difference. CH, 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 ch. Okay, it's very short. And shh, 
for the sh 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 versus ch ch ch. Okay, I like to remember this by turning my hand around for the ch 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 for the sh sh sh. Okay, the sh is often found in really common words like she she and shoot shoot and also share share and also at the end of words like wish and dish and fish okay wish dish and fish okay practice this sentence she should wash and share the shoes she should wash and share the shoes she should both that sh sh she should wash and share the shoes she should wash and share the shoes okay she should wash and share the shoes okay then we have the p and h p and h come together to make the f sound it's the same as the letter f okay f, f. think of words like photo or phone or phase photo phone or phase okay also at the end of words like graph and morph and biography graph morph and biography okay practice this sentence morphing photos on my phone 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 okay okay next up we have the th sound the th is super difficult it's one of the most difficult sounds in english i have a video all about the two different th sounds in english so if you want to learn perfectly how to pronounce the two th sounds check out this video up here okay or you can check in the description below this video but th can either be voiced or voiceless it is voiced in words like that and it pronounced there as th, 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 that these those and of course mother mother and father father okay practice with me that these those mother and father okay but we also have the voiceless th in words like math or bath or theater or thursday math bath theater and thursday this time the sound is th, th. it's not voiced no sound from the vocal cords the voiced one th, the voiceless th, th, th. okay so practice these sentences number one these or those or them over there these or those or them over there okay all of those are voiced th sounds these or those or them over there okay these or those or them over there okay and number two thank you for showing me the theater bathroom thank you for showing me the theater bathroom weird sentence but it has that th th sound in there thank you for showing me the theater bathroom thank you for showing me the theater bathroom okay practice all of those until you've mastered the h combo sounds ch sh and f and v and th okay now let's look at three of my favorite words in english beginning with the letter h okay beginning with the letter h these are my three favorite words in english beginning with this letter number one is hospitalization hospitalization i don't know why i like this word i just think it sounds cool because there's lots of vowel sounds in there listen hospitalization 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 it means to get put into hospital to do something that makes you end up in the hospital hospitalized okay hospitalization hospitalization number two is hypnotherapists 
hypnotherapists, okay? Hypnotherapists are people who hypnotize you. You know these guys that go okay, and you get dizzy, you are hypnotized. A person whose job to hypnotize you is a hypnotherapist. A hypnotherapist. Hypnotherapist, okay? Practice with me. Hypnotherapist. It's difficult because it has that TH in the middle and the letter H at the beginning. Hypnotherapists. Hypnotherapists, okay? And number three, my favorite H word in English is humanitarianism. Humanitarianism. Humanitarianism means a type of philosophy or idea that puts humanity first, okay? Humanitarianism is thinking or doing things that put humans at number one, to care deeply about humanity, all of the world. Humanitarianism, humanitarianism, okay? Practice with me, humanitarianism humanitarianism, okay? They are my favorite three H words in English, and hopefully they will also help you to improve your pronunciation. Okay, now we're going to have a little test in English, okay? I want you to write your answers in the comments below. Number one, look at these four words. H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A. All of these four words have the H followed by the letter A. But one of those words has a different vowel sound. The letter A is pronounced the same in three of those words, but in one of those words, the letter A is pronounced differently. If you know which word it is, you can write number one and then A, B, C or D. Which one is your answer, okay? A, B, C, or D, which one has a different vowel sound, okay? Number two is the same. This time, H plus E, H plus E. In these four words, they all have the letter H followed by the letter E, but one of them has a different vowel sound for the letter E. Which one is it? You can write number two, A, B, C, or D in the comments below. Now, number three, H plus I, H plus I. Four words, all H plus I. One of those vowel sounds is different. It's the odd one out. It's different to all the others. Which one is it? You can write three and then A, B, C, or D. Next is number four. Number four, H plus O. Four words, all with H plus O. One of them has a different vowel sound, okay? Which one is it? You can write four and then A, B, C, or D. Finally, number five is H plus U. H plus the U vowel. Four words, again, with H plus U, but one of them has a different vowel sound, okay? You should have in the comments one, two, three, four, and five, and your answers A, B, C, or D for each question. I will answer you if I see you write that in the comments and tell you whether you are right or wrong, okay? Good luck. Thank you very, very much for watching this lesson again. Remember, if you enjoy these lessons and if you find them helpful, you can hit that like button and subscribe. You can also now support me on Ko-Fi, okay? You can find that in the description box below, okay? Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Have a very, very fantastic day. Bye-bye.